Hello my darlings and welcome back to Midsize Magpie, a channel all about midsize fashion, body positivity, and sustainable fashion. And today we will be having a look at some summery items from H&M. Um, I believe come from their sustainable or conscious section, so I'll be flagging which ones those are. But ultimately the options, you know, it's still kind of a new thing. They don't have as many options size-wise, um, style-wise and everything. And as I've announced on my Instagram, at midsizemagpie, go follow me. I've announced that I am going to be moving to Arizona from London very soon. I'm excited, but also I hate the heat, so moving to a desert is um, a predicament. And I have not a whole lot of warm weather clothes. Typically, I am just a person who will wear jeans and a t-shirt over the summertime and just grit my teeth and bear the heat. And I don't think that's going to be an option anymore since summertime will essentially be the entire year round. So I wanted to find some more warm weather friendly items. H&M sustainable or conscious section was a good option. So without further ado, I ordered a number of things, lots of dresses and some shorts. So I'll hope don't I'm moving, so like don't come for me if you see my address. So um, I'm just gonna just gonna crack on in. Just gonna see what see what we got. I'm gonna wait around. So if you watched my last video, I'll link it up here. You'll recall my horrible experience with ASOS. Nothing against them. My booty's just bigger than it was the last time that I checked. So I um, none of those shorts worked for me. So we're gonna have another go. These are denim paper bag shorts. Very straight to the point. $19.99 in light blue in a size 18. So we'll get the shorts out of the way and then we'll move on to dresses just because that's how they're arranged in the box. So, they're very elastic. These look nice. I'm super excited for these. No hole in the butt, again from my last video. That was an experience. Um, yeah, I'll try these on. All right guys, we had a success. These fit beautifully they like I really need to put a mirror over here so I can look at you as I look at myself but someday um ooh, this is a little funky like they're definitely big enough I think like they're really comfortable on my waist they go they're very high-waisted they've got loads of elastic in them so they just like hug my body. The length is really nice. They're not super short, which I like. There's no gigantic holes in the butt, which is great. This, like, it's really nice soft denim. Absolutely, 100% keeping these chuffed to bits. We have a winner. All right, so hopefully let's carry on from that success. So next we have, why did I do this? All right, so this will be putting it to the test. I, for some reason, they probably didn't have it in an 18. Um, but we have tailored shorts in natural white in a size 16 and we're 16, 19. Not gonna lie, considering how nicely these fit, I think, especially with H&M, I'm probably in 18, but you never know. I've been loving like the 90s, 80s, like high-waisted neutral shorts with like um, neutral blazers or neutral tops or whatever. So this is my attempt at being one of those cool kids. Um, has really nice like cute pleats in the front. It's like nice and wide leg. Maybe that's why because they're kind of like a larger fit or a wider fit anyway in the legs. So. We'll see how this guy fits on the waist, but um, they look a bit see-through, so bear that in mind, but let's see how they work. Okay, we're gonna make this short because I currently can't breathe. I am most definitely an 18 in H&M. Um, because of that, it kind of like <laughs> sucks me in 
here that kind of pokes out with where my tummy is. Um, I mean, the booty looks good, not gonna lie. Yeah, if I wanted to be able to breathe or eat or sit, I would definitely need to size up in these. So I'll have a look, um, which is too bad. I think they're really cute. They are very see-through, like you can very easily see the pockets, which it does have pockets. So I guess that is a perk. Whew. Yeah, she's tight, she's tight. We need to get it off, I'm gonna. I may or may not be sitting here with my pants completely unbuttoned so that I can breathe. But you know, needs must. So those were the shorts, and we've discovered that I am a definite 18, which is fine. Ain't no thing. It's H&M. I feel like the sizes are kind of like wonky with them anyway, so is what it is. So next I have a ton of dresses to try on. This one is the cotton crepe dress in cream in a size 18, and it was $24.99. I need stuff for work. I need to be cool, as in like breezy and work appropriate. And I'm not sure what that looks like. I've been wearing jeans and t-shirts to my job for the past five years, so it's a journey. This is it off the bat. It's got the cute poofy sleeves. It's giving me like Maria in the in the fields singing about the hills are alive with the sound of music. I have a basket in my hand, a straw hat on my head. It's a look. I'm stoked. Hopefully this is, this again looks a bit thin, but we'll see how it goes. Hold that. All right, so this is the cotton dress. I think it's cute. I think I like it. It's very, you know, easy to throw on. The thing about dresses, it's an outfit all in one, which I greatly appreciate. I think the reason why I'm not like jumping up and down about it is like the chest. I think because it's almost elasticated, which is great, but like I'm not really wearing a bra and there's a lot of room, but it's also still kind of pulling, which doesn't really make sense. It's also very see-through. I don't know if you can tell I have a black like bralette underneath, which is like fine. People are gonna know that, you know, I'm wearing a bra underneath, whatever. Like, I guess you could do a strapless, but let's be honest, in the heat, that's not going to happen. I just like slip right down. But I think it's cute. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Another one to keep? Let me know what you think. That was a rhyme. Like Dr. Seuss. So the next dress, ooh, I'm excited about this one. This is the flounce trim dress in white in a size 18 and it is $29.99. You will see, if we add it all up in the end, just how much I spent on this haul. Do I regret it? Not yet. <laughs> Look at how pretty it is. If this doesn't fit me, I'm going to cry because it is adorable. It also looks very see-through. That's fine. Like, throw some cycling shorts underneath. If someone sees that you're wearing a bra, like, what else do they think you're wearing? Like, I don't know why we try and hide the fact that we're wearing underwear of any kind. Like, if they show your panty line, I'm like, well, yeah, like, guys wear boxers, girls wear pants, or do they don't, but like, why does it, why does it matter? I don't get it. Anyway, let's try this gorgeous little thing on. I love this so much. It's so cute. It fits so nice. It is most definitely see-through. You can see my little bralette underneath, but I don't care because I love it. The length is really nice. I think this is definitely one of them that was in the sustainable or in conscious section. And it's just, so cute and girly and like, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna need to invest in some hats, but it's just so cute. Like you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It does all the things. I love it. And yeah, this is an 18 as well. So I was a bit worried when I was putting it on, the waist was a bit like, but um, fits my waist really nice. It's like elasticated, 
And then it's got this little bow that you can tie to like cinch it up even more. So I will definitely 100% be keeping this because I am feeling my best girly girl self, which I need to get into since I've been wearing men's sweatpants and t-shirts for the past four months. Okay, moving on to, um, so we've covered like the neutral dresses. Now we're going to get into the, the jazzy print dresses. Next we have got some gingham because that is on trend and I'm trying to be on trend. Oh, seersucker. Is that the same? Seersucker? Gingham? I don't know. Who do I think I am? Seersucker. It's a just seersucker dress. $19.99. Bargain. Black and white checked. Um, you'll see a pattern or a trend in all of these. And that is the big poofy sleeves because I bloody love that. It's like, oh, so girly, so fun, so feminine. Yeah, size 18. Good. I'm glad. This is part of their general. This isn't one of their sustainable ones, but I really wanted some type of gingham seersucker dress. And this was just too cute. Oh, it's got a, got a zipper on the side, which will be helpful in getting my, my booty in. So it's a US large for my US buddies over there who are similar sizes to me. Let's try it on. This is the seersucker dress. I like this one too. Again, it's a really nice length. It's like just about comes just above the knees. I was a bit worried about like the chest bit because it's gonna be really hard to wear a bra with it because it goes it's such a wide square neck. So I've kind of had to like tuck my bralette down so I don't know. It's not it doesn't have loads of support, so I don't know if like maybe a bandeau so back. Maybe a bandeau bra or like, I guess you could give it a go with no bra, but um, yeah, I was a bit worried because I wanted this to go down to like my smallest and I was worried that this was going to make me look like pregnant, but not at all. It's super cute. This is like a little black bandana or my pearl band, or not bandana. <sighs> yes. I'm like a summer princess. So cute. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty loose. It's a bit tighter on the on the chest, but I think that's good because I think if it was too loose, then it would just become like a baby doll, and that's not the look I'm going for. So yeah, absolutely love it. Killing it, H and I'm gonna leave my headband on because it's cute. Next jazzy dress. We're going for jazzy colors now. Got some floral numbers. This is the flounce trim dress in a large. And it was $24.99. So again, none of these were like wildly expensive, which is a shame because it means they bat more. So this one has a bit different of a front. It doesn't have that square neck. It's got a V kind of like wrap front. It's got like kind of this overlay uh, with the nude underneath, so maybe it'll be better in regards to what you can wear or can or can't, can't you do whatever you want, but you know what I mean? Showing what you're wearing underneath, I guess. So yeah, let's get this guy on. So this is the floral dress. Um, it feels much bigger than the rest of them. Maybe it's because it doesn't have like a belt that I can cinch it in with. Feels very big, almost too big I would say. The arms, like the elastic on the arms are also quite tight, which doesn't make much sense. Like obviously they're very elasticated, but like almost too elasticated, you know what I mean? And it's like very girly, it's got like the frills and the poofs and the... I think it's just maybe a bit too much for me. It's also quite a bit shorter, am I crazy? Is it not any shorter? I feel like it's quite, I feel like it's quite short. I don't know. I feel like it would be killer in photos, but as far as everyday wear, I think it's a bit much. Which is a shame. But also at the same time, I'm glad I'm not gonna be keeping everything because I can't afford that. Okay. We are on to our last item. The Peace Love Resistance. I'm really excited about this one. It is a 
Lysol, Ly Lyocell blend dress in a size 18. That was $25.19. And it is this beautiful oh. lemon print. Ooh. It's so cute. Look at how sweaty I am. Fingers crossed this guy works and then we'll have three dresses and a pair of shorts and happy, happy times. Let's check it out. So I wanted to document my idiocy because I was trying this on and I was like, in what universe would this be socially acceptable? This is ridiculous. How dare they? I have it on backwards. I'll fix that. I just wanted to share. For our last piece, we have the lemon dress. And on the right way. And I think I like it a lot. It's a bit big. I don't know, but it's like comfy, so I kind of don't care. The back is the like open back. So um, probably wouldn't wear a bra with it or like you'd wear stickies, but let's be real in Arizona, a sticky is gonna do nothing. Maybe I'll try it without a bra. I mean, the back definitely looks cuter, I think, because, like, if you see, there's quite a bit of gap, like, it doesn't lay flat down. It's quite, it's quite open, which is probably what's causing the front to lay kind of funny. But I love it so much. Um, I don't know if it would be better in a smaller size. I think my boobs are a bit too drippy to pull off going braless in this one. It's just zero support here. Is it a bit much? Can you can you picture yourself going to work in this? Like this is like I would go to a wedding in this, you know what I mean? Like this seems quite fancy. Yeah, like the shoulders are already kind of like falling down. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. I'll maybe hold off on returning it until I no, for sure. Cause I think the back is super cute. But like, is it is it too open? Is that cause it's too big? Like, that's a lot. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. So we're ending this on a bit of a uncertain note. Ignore my tan. But compared to the last haul that I did, this has been a wild success. I realize that I'm looking at my viewfinder, and not at the camera. And I'm very pleased. Although I'm not 100% certain about this last piece. Absolutely yes to the shorts, to the long cream dress, to the white dress, and to the seersucker dress. And then this one and the floral one are like a... Mm -hmm. Hope you found it useful. Um, if you want to see how I style the ones that I keep, uh, check out my Instagram at midsize magpie. Give me a follow if you subscribe to the channel. That would be fabulous I will be uploading videos every Sunday um, Around around a time. It'll be a surprise. So if you click that notification bell, it'll let you know when that happens Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and please, please, please always remember that you are beautiful. You are powerful. You are brilliant and you are brave Thanks guys, bye!